Hey guys, Gaston with Rough Country. I just finished up putting a two and a half inch lift on this Jeep JL. Now we're getting ready to install the forged adjustable track bar. Let's take a look. So here we've got the Rough Country track bar and the factory and the differences are easy to see. This is a hollow tube with press fit ends, whereas the Rough Country bar is a solid forged steel and fully adjustable. It's gonna have OEM style bushings to ensure longevity and comfort. What does a track bar do and why do I benefit from a forged adjustable one? Your track bar is designed to mount to your frame and your axle and it centers your axle while you're going down the road. Well, when you lift a vehicle, it's gonna raise that mounting point on the frame and it's gonna pull your axle over. We correct this by adding the adjustment so we can add length to the track bar and bring that axle back to center. And with Rough Country as being forged steel as opposed to a hollow tube, you can be assured that it's gonna last you the lifetime of your vehicle. But enough talking about it, let's get it installed. All right, we've got our factory track bar laid out and we're gonna take a measurement center to center on the mounting holes. And that way we'll have a starting point for our adjustable track bar. In order to make sure we've got an even amount of threads on both sides. What I like to do is run it all the way in on both sides and then adjust out. Now I'll run this side in. We'll adjust out from there. 33 and a quarter. All right, now that we've got our measurements matching up from the stock to the adjustable, we'll go ahead and reinstall this on the axle side then once we have the Jeep sitting on its own weight, we'll install the frame side. So we're ready to hook the track bar up and I'll put it into place, but you can see that it doesn't line up. I know people have used ratchet straps to pull the axle over and get it to line up, but there's a lot easier way to do it. Start the vehicle and turn the wheel to the driver's side and it will pull the hole over into place. Now that our adjustable track bar is reinstalled on the frame side and tightened down on the axle side, the last thing we need to do is tighten down these pinch bolts on the adjuster sleeve. And that'll get us to the alignment shop for our final adjustments. Installation is easy, takes about an hour and is gonna get that axle centered and keep it centered. Get this and many other accessories for the JL today at roughcountry.com.